Xiaomi has released the 12s recently. What do the friends who bought it feel? Look at the Redmi K50 that you just bought. Don't you think it is still good? And you are not in a hurry to buy a new one. As a sub-brand of Xiaomi, Redmi is kind of low-end. But since the release of the Redmi K40 series, Redmi also seems to be making changes into high-end models. In this video, we will take you to know the Redmi K40 slash K40 Pro, which was released by Xiaomi last year, and is known as the king of cost performance. The original screen of the Redmi K40 slash K40 Pro is universal, using a Samsung 6.67-inch ultra-high definition screen. In domestic mobile phone sub-brands, or low-end models, in fact, there are not many model using Samsung screens, and Redmi is one of that using Samsung screen. The Redmi K40 series, as an attempt on high-end models, is actually quite successful. The Redmi K40 series has been on sale for only 23 days, and the domestic sales have exceeded 1 million units. Therefore, so far, this model still has some market share in the market. Moreover, since this model uses Samsung screen, the original screen is still more valuable, no matter what model, as long as it uses a Samsung screen, the degree of maintained value will be relatively higher. So now, the original series of this model, that are circulating on the market, brand new screen, original refurbished screen, these two types of screens, the price is relatively high, these brand new screens circulating in the market, the price is around $88 to $100, the price of original refurbished screen, is around 70 which is about $14 cheaper than the brand new screen. Chinotech believes that the price performance of the original series screens is relatively low. How can I explain it? Now this mobile phone costs only more than $147 in the mall, and the price of the original screen exceeds one third of the price of the whole machine. Just think about it. Most people are not willing to spend less than $100 to replace the original screen if you bought it when it was just released and it has been used for more than one year you are even more reluctant to spend so much money to replace the original screen therefore the original screen of this model is rarely prepared inventory especially by merchants although this model sells well in china due to the low cost performance of the original screen the replacement demand for the original screen is not high after all we can compare the price of the whole machine. So, let's look at the OLED screen next. There are currently two OLED screens on the market. One is Edo's Glass in 6.62 inch slash full HD, a large sized Mesoporous screen with Kof scheme. The other is Tianma's Glass in 6.39 inch slash full HD, a small sized water drop screen with Kof scheme. Look at the OLED screen made by Edo's Glass first. This OLED screen is new this year. The price is more than $73, which is close to the price of the original refurbished screen. It is not cheap, and there is not much price performance. And this glass is not specially used for Redmi, but more used for the OLED screen of Samsung A series. The OLED screen made by Dianma's glass is a small size, which is quite different from the original. The chin and top window are a lot smaller than the original, and the black border is relatively large. And the original Mesoporous screen has also changed into a water drop screen. And the overall window looks disgraceful. Similarly, this 6.39 inch glass is not specially used for Redmi K40 slash K40 Pro, but more used for Samsung A20, A30, A50, A70, and other models. In general, there are very few OLED screens for the Redmi K40 slash K40 Pro in the market because there are few demands for it. At present, Chino believes that these two models of OLED screens aren't price performance, and there is no need to pay much attention. Compared to in-cell screens in the market, the price performance of in-cell screen is highlighted. There are currently two in-cell screens on the market, including the in-cell screens put on the shelves by various domestic brands. They are in-cell screens made by TCL and JDI's glass in 6.5 inch slash full HD, Mesoporous screen of COG scheme. In general, these two in-cell screens are smaller than the original window, but the screen style is the same as the original one. It is a mesoporous screen, and it is also in full HD ultra high definition screen. If the backlight with high brightness and high color gamut is used for adjustment, the overall display is still okay. Most importantly, is quite price performance. 
The current price is between 7 As for a model just released last year, when the screen replacement price is more than $14, it can say that it is quite price performance. In this case, let's think about it for a mobile phone of about $295. Do customers prefer to spend $103 for an original screen or spend more than $14 for an incel screen to make do with it and then consider changing the phone after a while? Therefore, for such low-end models, the price and price performance of the replacement screen are more worthy of our attention. Of course, because this model is relatively new, and there are few people making it, the current price of this in-cell screen is slightly higher than that of the regular in-cell screen. Judging from the falling price of DFD screen this year, the in-cell screen of this model will continue to drop in price in the second half of the year of future. Therefore, in terms of the situation of shipments, it is a more wise choice to ship according to the order and according to the actual demand. Follow Chino Tech. Take you to know the first-hand screen market information.